Welcome to Smalltalk Daily for Wednesday, September 29, 2010. This morning I wanted to go through a web API example using the Google APIs. And one thing I need to mention is that a couple of years ago, web APIs were a lot easier. Most of them were simple, restful things. If they used any authentication at all, it used basic auth. Things are a lot more complicated now. Some sites use OAuth. Some sites use a simpler subset of that called XAuth. Google has its own framework, which I've implemented this morning. It's very simple, and it's a good way of showing you how easy it is to build something that requires some basic authentication that isn't standard authentication. So to get started, what I'm going to do is just show you first that this is the API I'm calling. I'm getting a client token, and then I can make requests to an API. And the API I'm going to call is to their calendar API. So the way I use this in Smalltalk is I get a request token by asking this auth request object, I hand it this, I'm going to call the calendar API, Google's name for that is CL. I hand it my username, my password, and my client name, which in this case I'm just saying Syncom Visual Works 771. They want this format, company name, application name, and version. If I were using this in a real application as opposed to just the development environment, I'd come up with something more interesting than that. So I'm going to call this API here eventually to get my full calendar as a feed. It'll bring me back an XML thing. So I've already called this, and I'll just inspect this. I'm not going to look at the data because that would give you my tokens, but you see I get back these three fields, auth, lcid, and sid. These two I don't need to worry about. This is the one I need to hand over. So let's just walk through what I did. To make that authentication request, what I do is I handed all that data. To make that happen, what I do is go in here to this request token and I passed up my service name, my username, my password, and my client. And then I send this request token call, which puts together the request. So I put a post request to that URL. I handed any form data I have. And the form data is all of those pieces of data that I handed in in an URL encoded form. And to do that, I did something pretty simple. I get form data. I'm using the web support package. It's a prereq for this thing. And I just hand it a collection of associations. And it'll put that in an URL encoded form for me, so I don't need to worry about that. And now all I need to do is come in here to this request token method again, set up the client, I have my request object, and then I execute it. I look for these exceptions. If I get an SSL exception, I assume it's because I'm not caching it, so I just proceed forward. An application might want to do something more intelligent like cache that, but this is what I'm doing. And then I just parse out the request token from that stuff into this auth token request. And from there, I can start making API requests. So here I do two things. I hand it my authentication tokens, and I give it a request object. The reason I have a request object is, depending on the API you're calling from Google, you may have to set up form data, you may have to set up URL arguments. There's a bunch of things you may have to do. It may be a GET request, maybe a POST request. It's going to vary. So I figured, OK, for every API, I'm going to assume you have to create a request object yourself and hand it into this. And this guy here, all it does is specify the method and the URL. And then all it does is, that's it because this is a very simple thing. So then to make the service request, all I do is come in here and set the authentication header to Google login, and the auth equals this. And this is how I can specify an authorization header without having to go through the entire HTTP framework in VisualWorks to set this up. If you look at the way Digest and Basic Auth are set up, for instance, they go through a whole framework. I'm doing something a little simpler. I just hand it this and stuff things in, and it just works. So then finally, I come in here to my service request and initialize and I go here to make the request, the same check for exceptions. I set the authentication header. And then I don't process the response at all, because this is an example. I have this abstract class that I'm subclassed from that sets up what you have to do. And then all you have to do is this. So I'm going to do this service response. I'm going to check the feed by getting the contents from that. And you see here, I now get my calendar list with the full XML feed in there. I could now write an application that parsed that and presented it in a useful way. So you can see that this application works pretty nicely. This is just a simple little library that allows you to interface to Google. I'm leaving it to anybody who's interested to actually write the rest of the code that would interface to some particular piece of Google and do something more useful. But that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.